Yet another shooting today at a local playground, just one day after the city's latest homicide. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We begin with a local breaking news alert in Over the Rhine, where police investigate an afternoon shooting. Now, the victim in today's shooting is expected to survive. Local 12's Larry Davis spoke to a man who witnessed the gunfire. He joins us live. Larry. Hi, Paula. Well, it has happened once again. Another shooting in downtown Cincinnati area, this time at the same playground where a man was gunned down less than 24 hours ago. Cincinnati police were called back to the Finley playground on Finley Street and over the Rhine around 1 o'clock this afternoon. A witness told police he saw a suspect opening fire, shooting that victim several times. This coming on the heels of last night's shooting in the same area where a man was shot to death last evening. Now, the gunfire broke out not far from where nearly 100 men were holding a peace march in over the Rhine. Today's shooting brought Cincinnati's police chief back out to the scene. Upon arrival, officers were very quick to arrive. They were within probably a minute to arrive. They discovered a male black subject who had been shot multiple times. We're quite alarmed at it's the exact location of last night's homicide, so we're looking at maybe some connectivity to last night's shooting as well. And Paula, we understand the uh, victim's wounds were non-life-threatening. His name has not been released as of yet. Police had been looking for a getaway car. Uh, Local 12 News has learned that they found that getaway car a few blocks away from the scene, and a person uh, believed to be connected to that shooting has been uh, taken into custody as well. Now. Uh, coming up on Local 12 News at 5.30 tonight, we'll hear from that witness who described the shooting and uh, just how close it came to him becoming a victim. Live and over the Rhine, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you. Larry, and this is so frightening, and we were talking in broad daylight. We've got uh, children behind you, obviously, and, and set the stage for us. How close to Finley Market? I mean, these are areas that people travel to all the time. We're about a block away from Finley Market, and as you mentioned, I looked around right before I went on the air. There were some uh, children playing behind me, probably in between the ages of three and five with uh, their mother or grandmother with them. Same uh, is true over here on, on the other side of the park near where last night's shooting uh, took place. Uh, people hanging out under a shade tree, uh, just trying to keep cool. But uh, things, uh, this is the second time now that this has happened in less than 24 hours. And as Chief Blackwell mentioned, uh, they are concerned because uh, they're concerned that since uh, there was a shooting here last night and then this afternoon, these may very well be connected. Live and over the Rhine, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you. They need to stop. All right, thank you, Larry. 